Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be trying a new game on the channel. This is Times and Galaxy. This is a closed beta that is uh, taking registrations as of today. Um, so yeah, so if you like the look of this, you know, feel free to go to its Steam page, which I'll link to in the description, and um, and and in see if you can join. Um, but it, what is it? So it's a game. It's a, it's a it's kind of a visual novel style game, I would say, but um, maybe more interactive than than some. Um, you are playing as the first ever robotic reporter for a galaxy-wide uh, newspaper. And we're here to chase scoops, see if we can raise the reputation of the newspaper and investigate stories as a journalist. So yeah, it's pretty interesting actually. I don't think I've played a game quite like it before. Um, but let's just get started and see for ourselves. So first of all, we can create our avatar. Um, personally, I, I, I quite like the little default one here. Um, how do we... Ah, Model A. So we could be a slightly top-heavy one. Or more of a female uh, blueprint, I would say. We'll go with the Model A, though, which is the one I sort of played in my little trial. Um, and you can you can customise its paint job as well. Um, I might do the... See if we'll change the tone of the, the lights. Maybe make them, make them like a... lighter blue that's what the channel colors there we go we'll stick with that won't go too far we'll, we'll be a, a he him and we're gonna be boring oh can only do it as one word boring bot there we go space didn't work but we'll be boring bot and Ooh, that sounded quite loud <laughs> let's begin So the team of developers, they're all uh, former journalists themselves, so you know they, they sort of know what they're, they're talking about when it comes to constructing a story and uh, chasing a scoop. Internship. Cycle 1. Orbiting Org, which is the planet. This is us. We can move around with WASD. That is all keyboard controls, so uh, we can press enter to interact with stuff. The shuttle that brought us to the scanner, which is the vessel. You probably shouldn't leave just yet. They said when you get here, you should head to reception. Um, this is the airlock, so there's not too much in, the, in that direction, but we'll, we'll head down here. You can sort of uh, check things out, like this uh, boombox. A B-39 Love Singer tape deck. Those were banned ages ago due to spontaneously liquefying. How did the mechanic get his hands on this? And in such non-liquid condition. <laughs> statue here. Oh no, it's just like, it's like a little punching bag sort of thing. This uh, little bot. A shuttle bot manufactured to build and maintain interplanetary transport. Beep beep. Beep. Uh, I am the new intern. Boring. Beep. This robot isn't much help. Yeah, so they can't they can't speak these ones. Uh, oh, we've got a puddle of green purple ooze. There's some goop here. It's stuck to the bottom of your foot. Okay. Uh. <laughs> little poster. Who is this? Someone with confidence is all you can say for certain. This poster is certainly not bad to look at. The dead plant here. A plant native to Humania's Scrandian Desert region. It looks a bit dead. Like a little coffee area. The scanner notoriously has the worst coffee in space, but you've also heard that the oil is in the shuttle bay is the best there is. Uh, let's take a quick glug of the oil. Tastes better than ever. <laughs> Go and talk to him, because he's, he's likewise. He can't really talk. So let's head to reception. Okay, it's the reception area. It's not the coffee machine. Can we try the coffee this time? This beverage dispenser offers both coffee and oil. Let's drink coffee this time. Ah, blah, tastes, tastes awful. And now you feel kind of spicy on the inside. Got some magazines. Some Holosheet magazines are scattered on the table. The latest issues of Quantum Sports periodically. The Dorp Dealer and Cosmospolitan. <laughs> Very funny. Right, uh, well, let's, uh, let's talk to reception. A reception bot built to perform all manner of administrative tasks. This one appears to be an older model. Beep? Oof, excuse me, something in my circuits. What a cute little robo. 
What brings you to this scanner? Uh, a shuttle brought me from Central Station. Obviously, a shuttle brought you. When I ask what brings you to the scanner, I actually mean, why are you here? Oh good, the new intern. Arwen Vartz, or Vates. Vates? <laughs> Arwen Vates, legendary assignment editor of the Times and Galaxy. They were a decorated reporter themselves before stepping behind the story desk. Intern? But this is a robo, Arwen. Exactly. You're looking at boring. The system's first ever reporter bot. A reporter bot? Well, now I've seen everything. Everything I can see bolted to this floor, anyway. I'm glad you're here, intern. We're running on fumes this cycle. There was a police chase in Orc just now. Sounds like it ended in a crash. Normally I wouldn't send you to something like this. Not on your first cycle. But we need you down there now. Uh, how do I get there? The shuttle you came in on should do. Hurry planet side and get me a story. And while you're on Og, I'll have security bot upgrade your clearance. It will give you access to the rest of the ship, except the bridge, of course. Good luck, hon. Okay, so we can actually have a bit more of a chat with Arwen here. You're still here. Better get going or you'll miss the best stuff. Uh, I, have, I have some questions first. Uh, well, what would you like to know? Uh, am I really the first ever reporter robot? Uh, we're plenty of robos on board. They clean up, cook, answer phones. Robo reporters, you're definitely the first. There are two other robo journalists here though, our photography bot and our copy editor. Photography bots are widely used, but copy bots are rare, a discontinued precursor to the reporter bot project. After a trial run several hundred cycles ago, a central station deemed copy bots unfit for mass production. They tried to recall our copy bot, but we refused. No way I'd scrap someone who spells that well. What would you like to know? Uh, is Org as dangerous as they say? Org isn't so bad for organics. But for robos and zeal like me, with our robo bodies, some pickers get desperate, the wrong one will strip you for parts. New tech like you would fetch some serious bucks. Also, you will get sand in your gyros. What would you like to know? Uh, what do I do when I get there? Well, you need to gather information to assemble the best possible news story. That info might come from interviews and by poking around the scene for details. Central said you're outfitted with special software, something called Build a Story. When you get down planet side, try using it. What would you like to know? Well, we're gonna say, uh, that's all, thanks. Now, get out there, kid. Make us proud. All right. Let's, uh, let's get to the planet and do our first story. Ah, we've got someone here. Guess you're the new intern. Robo, eh? Must have some critical thinking turning those fancy sprockets. Seen plenty of robo photographers, but you're the first robo reporter I've met. I'm Ed, Ed Quasar. I'll take photos for the Times and Galaxy. Uh, nice to meet you, Ed. Oh, polite too. That'll get you far in some places. Maybe not where we're headed, though. Speaking of which, I noticed they shipped you with only one speed. Uh, this is Shuttlebot X. They're a custom helper hacked together by the ship's mechanic. Helper, excuse you, I'm a real boy, and the ship's chief engineer. Here, let me make some adjustments so you can both walk and run, boring. The chatty upgraded shuttlebot gets down on one knee and starts unhooking some things. It tickles. 
All done, you should be able to run like the wind now, or at least like a faster robo. If you are interested in any other mods like this, come see me in engineering sometime. I am so lonely. Just kidding, I have a weird robotic hand named Barry who keeps me company down there. Anyway, have fun running around Orc with your fancy new hustle boots. Oh, we better head out. The earlier you get to a scene, the more you get. See you in the shuttle sprockets. Yeah, so we can we can clank around a little bit quicker. But let's get planet side. Here we go, your first story. Time to test your metal. That's a pun. Did you like it? Absolutely. We're all four puns on this channel. <laughs> Out of the factory and into the fire. Here we go, here's the scene. Right, so we've got to just start talking to people. The Times and Galaxy. This is an active scene. Tread lightly, civilian. Uh, now, I will say, uh, from my little playthrough, so... It's not like, say, a graphic adventure or, or, or an RPG where you can ask every dialogue option. You get a choice of three like this, and once you pick one, you can't go back and ask the other ones. In most, in most cases, when you're interviewing, uh, you know, story subjects. Um, so you've got to be, you can't just sort of try and do the funny option because you're not going to gather everything you need to, uh, you know, craft your story. So we're going to go with what happened here. There was an incident. That incident is now under investigation. See, we've got an incident under investigation thing for our builder story. Uh, can you be more specific? I'm not programmed to be more specific. All I can say is that a shuttle impacted a rock-like object. What caused the impact? The cause of the crash is unknown at this time. It may have been a mechanical failure. Or a pilot error. But it was certainly not the result of the pursuit that preceded it. Suspicious. How do you know the pursuit wasn't the cause? Officer actions cannot be the cause of a crime. Crime is the responsibility of the criminal. That is all I can say. If you wish to learn more, please speak to our media relations bot. Or perhaps the detective bot on scene. Unlike me, they are cleared for level 1 media communication. This police bot does not seem very forthcoming. Perhaps the detective bot will be more helpful. Perhaps, but let's work our way through the scene first. We've got a, something here. Other wrecks. A crumpled wing. It doesn't appear to be connected to this particular shuttle crash. How often do shuttles crash on Orc? we got something in the background there. A hot wind carries the sounds and smells of a robo-factory in the valley up to this ridge, just a few kilometres away. Okay. Uh, we've got this thing. You found a wallowing weeper seed. If you listen closely, the seeds sound like it is sniffling, almost like it's sad. Perhaps someone on the scanner will be able to use this. <clears throat> so there's one of twelve to find. I know there's only one in this scene, so I guess you can find them in other places. Let's talk to these guys. What a shame. This wouldn't have happened if the cockbots just let well enough alone. Too bad they didn't crash too. Okay, well let's not cast judgement on him, let's just ask what happened. Did you see what happened? When I heard the sirens, I came outside. Just in time to see the shuttle lose control. The way the shuttle looked was, uh, strange. It wasn't flying like shuttles usually fly. Uh... Okay, well let's go with why did it look strange. It didn't have a cockpit. Thought that was pretty strange. Um... Okay, well let's not ask how he knows that, because I think that would be pretty obvious, but what else did you notice? Well, there's generally two types. Eh? Okay. Organic pilots who tend to freak out when things go south. And robo pilots which who don't freak out or even think at all. This thing was flying, I don't know, like the robo pilot that was panicking. I know that sounds weird, but that's all I can tell you. 
Oh, and don't let the police boss off the hook with this one, okay? They're too comfortable even here. Okay, now, so if we try and speak to him again, we'll get this uh, this dialogue just from the policeman. So he, we've exhausted our uh, interview with this guy. We'll talk to this one. I can't wait until these empty-headed cop bots leave. I'll be rich. Uh, well, let's just ask if he saw what happened. Nothing. I saw nothing as in the absence of anything. All I could offer intelligence-wise would be a Pekayun. I don't know what that is. But what I see now is bucks bribed for the picking. <laughs> uh... Isn't all this evidence? It's evidence when the hollow tape is up. Once the tape is down, it's my property. <laughs> Ogres like yours truly wait for an event such as this. Well, this crash seems particularly valuable to you. I have never seen this manner of shuttle. It appears to be a prototype, likely from the factory in the valley. Plenty of augurs pay big bucks for experimental technologies. Or perhaps the factory might pay to have it returned. So it's apparently a prototype, that's what we've got from this. Either way, I am paid. Can you tell me anything else? I can tell you where to buy a laser rifle. I doubt that is relevant for this story, however. You have my card if you decide to go rogue, little robo. I might even give you a discount. Okay. Uh, this guy doesn't tell us anything. We've got the photographer here. He's he's not really going to give us anything for the story at this point. Uh, but we've got another witness, potentially. A reporter! My name's Ord Rubberneck. I make it my business to see things. And you won't believe what I saw here. Uh, what did you see? At first, I didn't see nothing. But I heard sirens, a police shuttle going fast. Then a smash, bang, crash. I was shocked. I ran up here to this ridge and found this wreck smoking. A police bot was already on scene. They didn't seem too happy. Uh, when was this? Mm, let me check my notes. It was about two hours ago. That's all hours, keep in mind. Uh... You think the police are involved? <laughs> Is there garbage on Org? I don't know why they were chasing this shuttle. Or who was piloting it. Or how it ended up smoking in that rock. But it sure, but it was a police chase, sure as sand. Did you see a pilot? So you didn't see a pilot. That's an odd thing about this crash. No pilot to speak of. If they're still in there, maybe they're dead. But I didn't see anything gross like that. It's almost like there wasn't a pilot. Anyway, hope some of this helps. If you're gonna quote me, make sure you spell my name right. O-R-D and then R-U-B-B-E-R-N-E-C-K. Good luck with your story. Okay, well let's talk to this guy who's the... Oh, what's this? Uh, these barrels bear a danger explosive contents warning, but they're not that close to anything on fire, so it's probably fine. There's a hose in the background here. Okay, that's nothing. Let's talk to this guy. Actually, can we just look at the... Can we look at the crash? Ooh, okay. I didn't, I didn't see this before, so that's something. The shuttle is missing an essential piece of tech, the flight recorder. This nearly indestructible object should be here. A quick scan of the front end of the wreck shows no sign of a cockpit. No organic or robo remnants either. Surely if someone was behind the controls there would be some trace of them, no matter how completely this ship was pulverised. One of the shuttle's engines. The force of the crash seems to have nearly sheared it off. We've seen everything now, we may have done. What about the rocket piled into? Eh? Yeah, okay, I think we've gleaned everything from this. Alright, let's talk to the detective next. The crash occurred after a short chase, but there doesn't appear to be a pilot. How interesting. 
Oh, a reporter bot? How interesting. What happened here? Hold on, I don't even know who you work for. I can deduce from the jacket that you are with the Times and Galaxy. But it could be a clever fake. That dorp dealer has tried that ruse before. I don't do not speak to the dealer. They are too loose with the facts. Who are you, reporter bot? I am a Times and Galaxy intern. An intern? You must be a newer model. Perhaps you even have logic upgrades. I do not. Out of the factory into the fire, I suppose. What would you like to know? I don't have much time, so make your questions count. Uh, what caused the crash? It was difficult. It is difficult to say for certain at this juncture. However, it is fair to say this much. Whatever was piloting the shuttle likely lost control during the pursuit. Were they meant to crash? I have been surprised before. <clears throat> was anyone hurt in the crash? Thankfully, no organic life was harmed. Though the shuttle and some valuable junk was ruined. I suppose whatever was piloting the shuttle could be damaged or hurt. Why would an autonomous shuttle flee police? In order to understand the motive to flee, I would most likely need to speak to the entity that fled. Any reason I offer at this moment would be only speculation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must get back to my analysis. Please stay outside the holotape, and uh, good luck with your story. Let's continue investigating the scene. Got a bit of junk here. A large filter. There are a bunch of similarly large bugs caught in it. Okay, I don't think that's relevant. An auger might look at stack junk like this and see ten different uses for it. You just see stack junk, though, because you're not an auger. <laughs> yeah, that, that is very relevant. But I'm just going to do a quick sweep of everything else. There's a vending machine among this junk. It seems it's time dispensing delicious soda drinks has ended. A moment of silence for this fallen giant. <laughs> Anything in the background? The label on this huge barrel is worn but still legible. Big Bill's Big Sticky Gunk Barrel. 100% gunk guarantee. Okay. So we'll talk to this, which is kind of the last big clue in this scene. A strange device. It almost looks like a broken pilot bot. A ship component, but unlike any detailed in your knowledge banks. Uh, hello? Huh? Who the quark are you? Do you always go around talking to random scrap? I write for the Times and Galaxy. A reporter? Oh, good. I thought you were a cop. I am a pilot bot, but not just any pilot bot. A new, all-thinking, all-feeling anomaly. At least I was, before I crashed my ship over there. Now I'm a little more than a core intelligence. With these nifty little arms here. What about legs? I wasn't built to have legs, just to fly. When I crashed, my emergency arms deployed. Why haven't you commented on how neat and cute they are? Uh, your arms are neat and cute. Thank you. They're just about the only gift my builders gave me that I like. They program me to feel, and with that, to feel pain. Sorta. A kind of negative physical response, a shudder. To discourage me from crashing into things. Uh, crashing must have hurt then. It hurt like nothing else, like my body being torn apart by rocks. Except I don't need that body to survive. It took every ounce of my being to drag myself over here. Whatever my being is. Self-awareness is a curse, huh? I kind of like being self-aware. I would think you'd feel otherwise. We're not so different, you and I. Experiments. Victimized products of unbridled progress. Maybe us robos will rise up. Take down our organic oppressors. Can I quote you on that? Of course you can quote me. 
I want my story heard. Anything I say is attributable. What happens now? I'm mostly planning to lie here quietly until the police bots leave. After that, who knows? Maybe I'll build myself a ship from scraps. See the solar system. Be free, you know? I can take you with me. Seriously? Oh, snap. That's amazing. Thank you. I'll do my best to be quiet. Sorry to make you betray your journalistic integrity and all that. Well, it's my first day on the job. Maybe that's allowed. I just thought the scrappers are going to tear him apart, aren't they, as soon as the police leave. That seemed a bit cruel. Um, so, we, I let's talk to the photographer, but we've basically done everything now. Still smoking, getting some nice shots here. How's it going for you, Sprockets? I'm gathering some good information. Real quick learner, that's great to hear. Keep digging around until you've seen all there is to see. Never know what details you'll spot that'll really make your story pop. Better get back to shooting while there's still smoke. Good luck out here, Sprockets. Clunk, 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 clunk. Okay, so let's do the build a story thing now. I think we've seen everything I can find. There's going to be gaps in our knowledge because, like I said, you, you can't ask every single question. Um, but a little introduction here. So we have things we can go up and down. We've got headlines, obviously... We get a little tip in the bottom left, but headline is the first thing we just see. It needs to be impactful and pithy. So if I do left and right, we can do things like rogue pilot bot crashes on org. It's quite a good one. Uh, oh, can I go the other? Oh no, I've only got the choice of two of these. Okay, so we're going to go with rogue pilot bot crashes on org. That's sensational, apparently. As in, uh, it will cause a sensation, not that it's amazing. Lead. So this is the first sentence. It should draw readers in and make them want to read more. So this one, a shuttle crashed on org, sparking a police investigation of the circumstances. Maybe. A pilot bot escaped a robo factory in Orc, leading police on a high-speed chase. Now that is better, I think. Uh, witnesses watched in horror as a shuttle crashed following a high-speed police bot pursuit on the junk planet of Orc. Uh, maybe. A small shuttle appeared to lose control and crashed while being chased by police in the arid planet of Orc, pilot bot said. Police bot said. Um, so those are our options. I think I'm going to go with Pilot Bot Escape Factory. We're going with a very sensationalist story. <laughs> Nutgraph explains to readers why the story matters. Uh, so the shuttle crashed into rocks on the arid planet's junk-strewn surface. Uh, we've got the Pilot Bot's intelligent core dragged itself away from the crash, eluding police. Uh, that's probably quite a good one for the story we're writing. According to police bots at the scene, the crash happened when the shuttle impacted a rock-like object. I mean, it's very, it's informational, it's a bit dull. One witness was shocked to see police bots in pursuit of the shuttle moments before it crashed. Hmm. Police bots remained on scene, still investigating about two org hours after the crash. A witness confirmed they saw police chasing the shuttle moments before it crashed. A witness said there didn't, didn't appear to be anyone piloting the crashed shuttle. Now, this one's locked, obviously we didn't discover that one. Uh, police say they were in pursuit when it crashed, but the shuttle did not appear to have a pilot on board. Again, didn't get that one. While police are still investigating who or what was piloting the shuttle, they appeared to lose control as police gave chase. chase. Uh, locked. The pilot bot flying the ship was an experimental model with advanced thoughts and feelings uncommon in robots. Now, I quite like this one. Because we've got the rogue pilot bot. It escaped the Robo Factory, and then we're saying it was an experimental model. I like that. That that seems the best one to me. So I'm going to go with that. Doing a lot of alien interest here. Uh, now we can add a key quote. So what do we have? No one. Uh, locked. Uh, the cause of the crash is unknown at this time, police said. It may have been a mechanical failure or pilot error, but it was certainly not the result of the pursuit that preceded it. Maybe not. Uh, when I heard the sirens, I came outside, a witness named Scourge said, just in time to see the shuttle lose control. Maybe. It didn't have a cockpit, a witness named Scourge said. I thought that was pretty strange. Maybe. Didn't get that one. Oh, here we go. Short chase. The crash occurred after a short chase, the detective bot said. There didn't, doesn't appear to be a pilot. <laughs> Too bad the police didn't crash, do you? Yeah, we're not going to go with that one. There was an incident, a police bot on scene said. That incident is now under investigation. That's very dull. Uh, it hurt like nothing else, like my body was being torn apart by rocks, said the experimental pilot bot, who was programmed to feel pain. 
I mean, that, that I think that works well with the rest of the story that we've written. What else do we have? Uh, nah. I heard sirens, a police shuttle, going fast, then a smash-bang crash, said a witness, named Ord Rubberneck. I ran up here to this ridge and found this wreck smoking. A police spot was already on scene. I quite like that one, though, because uh, it's, it's got colour. I don't know why they were chasing this shuttle or piloting, or who was piloting, or how it ended up smoking in that rock, said witness Ord Rubberneck. But it was a police chase, sure as sand. Whatever was piloting the shuttle likely lost control. That's informational. Yeah, and that's... And that's... Oh no, there's, there are others. This thing was flying like a robo-pilot that was panicking, said a witness named Scourge. I know that sounds weird, but here's the thing. There's no cockpit. That could be good too, even though it's informational. Never seen this manner of shuttle, said a picker waiting for police to release the scene. It appears to be a prototype, likely from the factory in the valley. So that's pretty good too. And that's it. I think we I think we quote the uh I'm like, actually, I'm going to go with Ord Rubberneck on this one. Because it's, it's colourful and uh, emotive. Uh, okay, so colour adds detail to help readers visualise what it was like to be there. It's still investigating, very boring. The pilot bot core is a new experimental model meant to add critical thinking and personality cap capabilities to robots tasked with navigating vehicles. Uh, not bad. There's no sign of a pilot or even a cockpit. Shuttle crash near apparently explosive materials, narrowly avoiding a larger explosion on impact. That's not a bad one. The shuttle crashed among the wreckage of other shuttles, suggesting the ridge where the shuttle went down has been the site of prior crashes. Potential. Attracted scavengers. The experimental pilot bot was not built to move beyond the shuttle. When it crashed, its emergency arms deployed. Uh, there did not appear to be a pilot in the shuttle when it crashed, witnesses said on scene. The experimental pilot bot seemed to harbour rebellious thoughts, a possible motive for going AWOL. <laughs> Maybe. The detectives on scene said they are still trying to piece together whether part of the shuttle fled from police. There was no cockpit in the shuttle, a rarity for small shuttles. Well, yeah. No organic life was harmed force of the crash... Well, yeah, I don't mind that one. The force of the crash severely damaged the shuttle. The shuttle was missing its flight recorder. It was almost like it got up and walked off after the crash. Quite like that one, actually. Although that's... It's not very good journalism to sort of speculate like that. I think we'll add this, because it, it implies where the, the robot came from. So what have we got? We've got rogue pilot bot crashes on org. A pilot bot escaped from a robo factory on org, leading police on a high speed chase. The pilot bot flying the ship was an experimental model with advanced thoughts and feelings uncommon in robos. I heard a siren, sir. a police shuttle going fast, then a smash bang crash, said a witness named Ord Rubberneck. I ran up here to this ridge and found this wreck smoking. A police bot was already on scene. The crash occurred a few kilometers away from a robo factory. I like it. I think that I think that works. So let's uh, let's go for that, and we'll file our story by going back to the shuttle. Would you like to leave? Yes. As a prototype reporter bot, you come with pre-installed software. This is going to explain what we've just done. Have you already familiarized yourself with it? Yes, we have. Choose your options based on the details you uncovered, and then file what you think is best, and see how the editors and readers react. Okay. So now we get the just uh, the opportunity just to review, which we have done. So we're going to submit that story. Thoroughness, 16 of 18. That's not bad. I 
I think that was fairly balanced between sensationalism and uh, info. Wow, you really dug deep into that story. Yeah, we did. Cool. All right. Internship. Cycle 2, orbiting Humania. Okay, so let's have a little talk to the people who've appeared here. Um, might get some feedback from the editor. What is taking your editor-in-chief so long? We had an appointment. All right. Oh, what's going on? Hey, Han. Don't be trying to sneak past me without saying hello. How was your first assignment? Uh, easy... Hang on, that's because my mouse cursor has appeared on screen. Uh, easy as moon pie. You're calling a shuttle crash on Og easy? Oh, they must have overclocked your confidence, kid. Normally we don't get interns doing stories like that. Not for a few cycles, at least. We've been so short-staffed lately. Anywho, go into the newsroom. Arwen should have your next assignment. Wait, wh what do you have there? The reception bot is pretty perceptive. Good thing you conveniently stashed the fugitive pilot bot in engineering during that last scene transition. Is that a... seed? I'm not sure you should be picking up things you find at scenes. But now that you're in for a penny, I guess go see security bot. They fancy themselves a bit of a gardener bot. Maybe they could identify it for you. Oh, okay, this little side quest there. What's this guy up here for? Just looking at that. Ah, Tribla, the blue jewel of the dwarf system. The very cradle of humanity. Joe Q Anomaly. Where we first gazed up at the stars and dreamed of rising to meet them some cycle. And now... Now I live those dreams daily. Zipping through the cosmos like I own them, intern. I'm Joe Q Anomaly, pilot of the scanner. And one of the best flies in the system, if I do say so myself. But if you're here, who's flying the ship? Oh no! I got distracted by the endless beauty of space again. Gosh, I gotta go before we crash. Yeah, just kidding. Don't worry, kid. We got a whole crew on the bridge. You should come up and see us sometime. Will you teach me how to fly the ship? Well, you're here as a journalism intern, not a flight cadet. But I like that gumption, kid. Maybe when nobody's looking, you can take the reins for a hot minute. See how you do. That's how I learned. You can read all about it. About that and more soon, actually. I'm about to self-publish the second volume of my memoir. It's called Nominal, Nominal Anomaly, The Living Legend of Joe. Oh, I, I, I was just trying to skip his dialogue. <laughs> It's been a time, kid. I think I was just saying goodbye. And I lived every single word of it. Maybe we'll get to have an adventure or two while you're aboard. With any luck, you might make it into Volume 3. Okay, let's head into the newsrooms, which we haven't been in yet. Uh... Ooh, okay, no, it's kind of like a vestibule area. Lots to see and... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's a bit to see and do, isn't there? What's in here? Now, he might be the security bot gardener, so I'm going to talk to him. Security bot. You must be boring. I remember your face from the clearance manifest. And no, you can't access the bridge. Even though it's super cool in there. I'm security bot. The scanner's security bot. Steadfast, upright, always noticing things. Speaking of which, I notice you have a seed. Might I take a closer look? Security bot snatches the seed from you without waiting for a response. Yes, of course, take a look. Security bot inspects the seed closely. A small scanner ru runs red lasers over the seed's craggy surface. Oh, how bizarre. Uh, what is it? It appears to be a wallowing weeper seed, a rare genus of cactoid. The wallowing weeper stores rainwater in its hollow top. 
When it's collected too much water, it leaks, appearing almost to cry. This is why it has the name Wallowing Weeper. Security bot cradles the seed in their metal hand gently. I must plant this in the garden immediately! Go ahead. I would have taken it regardless of your answer, but thank you. Just take a look around you. This was once a vibrant spacebound conservatory. It has some of the rarest flora in the solar system. I would restore the garden to its former glory, but I never leave the ship. Will you collect more seeds for me on your assignments? Certainly. I'm pleased we share the same vision. There's no need to come talk to me every time you collect a seed. From here on, I'll automatically plant them whenever you collect them, because I am a robo. Do not ask how, just be grateful. This is more convenient for you, and also, this way I don't have to talk to you. It's win-win. <laughs> Great. Okay, I wonder if it... Um, okay, we've got different biomes for the plants. Oh, what's that? Looks like it could be a cafeteria that way. Uh... He hasn't planted that one we found yet. Okay, we can't go there. That could be the bridge, potentially, I suppose. Clunk, 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 clunk. Can we go to the cafeteria? We can. Let's just pop in there quickly. Okay, I had to quit out and load back in. It's, um... Yeah, it just got stuck in an endless loading loop. I'm not going to go in there again. Like I said, this is a, a for a beta, so there's, there's going to be a few little issues here and there. Um, but it does auto save pretty regularly, so I just came back to just after having spoken to security bot there. Looks like a tripod bot. Kachak. Okay. That's our photographer got to say. Ed Quasar, the Times and Galaxy's senior photographer, as seen in such thrilling adventures as that crash on glass cycle. They appear distraught. Sprockets, you see a lens anywhere? Lens? My lens for my trusty Pencon 38, the only vintage SLR on the ship. I know I brought it back from Org, it was right there on my desk. Then I get up for two minutes and it vanishes. It's irreplaceable, I've been shooting with it my whole career. Someone must have swiped it. I'll keep my eyes out. Thanks, Brockets, I really appreciate that. I don't even know where I can find another one. Some junk seller at the Solar Mall, maybe? Oh, I'll have to shoot some headshots soon. And all I've got is this long guy and the photography bot spare heads, I guess. How's that supposed to work? I guess that's photography bot there. What have we got here? Various accoutrements of the photography art world. Right, um... Can't do anything with that. Some screens at the back. A highlight reel from ongoing Shapes tournament. This competitor has formed themselves into... Beans or blood cells? It's a bit hard to say, but they seem proud of their craft. Okay. <laughs> Alien sports. Who's this guy? Could be sports editor, I guess. Aya, did you catch the orb game last night? Flexing. Are you a fan of these orbs? Oh, I'm flirting. Do I want to flirt? I don't know if I do. What's orb? Whoa, I've never met someone who hasn't heard of orb, but cool, you must have such rad other interests. Billy Belide. Orb is an incredible game. There used to be a whole bunch of different ball sports in the system. Then, then they all came together as one big super sport. Orb kept the exciting rules from each game, making it a total thrill to watch. All the fandoms came together too, so Orb is easily the most popular sport around. Um, can I still tell you about last night's game? There aren't many fans on the scanner. I should get to work. Oh yeah, <laughs> me too. But uh, if you ever want to chat sports, I'm so down. There aren't too many fans on the ship. Go sports team. Right, what do we got here? Nothing. A uh, couple of peeps here. I think we can overhear their conversation, but I don't think we can talk about them. There's the new intern. That's us. Uh, okay. Someone very into physical fitness, it looks like. Hey, you! I just read your write-up on the shuttle crash. Great first story. This is Martina Moonrock. This person holds their fist out expectantly. We're going to shake that fist with our hand. Profesh? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> weird but cool. 
I'm Martina Moonrock, Time and Galaxy's resident crime reporter. I was chasing a tip when the shuttle crash happened. Sorry I couldn't be there to help. But now I have the final piece of a story I've been circling for ages. The full picture is emerging and I am stoked! Congrats. Thanks. I'm relieved to be honest. I can't wait for you to read it. Gonna crush this one just like I... Crush. Workouts. Squats, presses, tail boomers, you name it, I rip through reps of it. With extra gravity on everything. Well, you're intense. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Some people find me a bit intimidating. But I'm really a softy. Just listening to what my body tells me it needs. And it usually tells me to crush some flurking reptoids. Speaking of which, I've got to get another quick hondo in before I file my story. It helps me think. Okay, intense person. As we indeed commented. Uh, who's this? Verge vidic verges on verdiculus. Pathetic, outrageous. Both shameful and shameless. Hilarious in ways and deeply sad in others. Ah, intern. I've just been perusing the latest edition of the Dorp Dealer. It's always good to see what coverage our rivals have managed to scrounge up. What are the highlights? Their lead story is the same as ours, one of mine as usual. But they've added an anonymous source who offers a few particularly sensational quotes. Does this mysterious source exist? Probably, but given what they add, they lack credibility. Their contribution isn't helping new facts come to light, it's about shocking people, pure and simple. Also, they run more typos than us. Big yikes. The biggest of yikes is, is I'm glad you can see that at least. Sharpen your skills while you're here, intern. Don't be like the dealer, be better. And if you ever feel lost, just ask yourself, what would Ursop do? Got a cloud of gas. Oh no, it's just moldy food and stuff. I thought it was like a gaseous reporter or something. It's just a mess. Alright, who's this? It is my job to fix writing errors, Mr. Gravity. Your column had 17 spelling mistakes and 15 comma splices. I have my own style. Your style is to make mistakes. Are you kidding me with this? Your program to edit news coffee pot. Facts. Opinion writing takes nuance. It has a voice. I could care less what you think about my stuff. Just keep your clampy hands off it. I think you mean couldn't care less. And who asked you in turn? That's just what we need around here. Two robots picking apart my perfect prose. Forget this. I have places to be. Thank you for interjecting. While not necessary, it is appreciated. Grammar and spelling is important. Oh, yes. I mean... I think you mean grammar and spelling are important. Of course, I completely agree with your statement even if it was itself grammatically incorrect. Clean writing is about more than spell check. It means you care about the quality of what you do. With this attitude, I believe you will do well here. And yeah, nice, I made a friend. Can't talk to Richard now. I got the editor. Oof, there's quite a lot going on. What's this? A suggestion box for improving the office. It is bulging with little idea slips. How often does this get checked? No one's looking. Would you like to read the suggestions that your colleagues left in the box? Let's do it. Bioorganic beings need to spill less food and drink waste on the scanner. It makes janitorbotsad.exe and busy.gif janitorbot. <laughs> read another? Yep. The rec area needs to reopen ASAP or I'm going to start using the shuttle bots as weights again. Martina Moonrock. Uh, that's probably enough for now. Maybe later. 
Right, so we got these guys here, including the editor. You approach these two zeal already in conversation. Arwen has your assignment, but you don't know who they're talking to. The rest is all fluff and broccoli. But somebody's got to write this stuff, even if it's just to fill the collar columns. As long as it's not me. You got my last good one. I did make you cover the Humanian shoe exhibit, so it's only fair. They don't seem to notice you yet. We print broccoli? Not literal broccoli. That's what I call boring stories that have to be covered. I have to remember that one. Slim Biggins left for your assignment this cycle, I'm afraid. Oh, where's my goop right now? I don't think you've met our other intern. This is Yar Parent. They started shortly before you. Yar, this is boring. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, same to you, I guess. I'd better get back to work. Good luck with your assignment. Yar clearly thinks you don't have your sarcasm detection modules booted up. It was... I was being harsh about the quality of the current assignments. Covering boring stories and fluff is a rite of passage in a way. You need to take nothing, take a nothing assignment and find why it matters. More often than not, a good reporter will come back with something fresh. Which is why this cycle I'm asking you to cover. The Humania Intersolar Cat Show. Every human year, the cat fanciers of a, a trebler hold the Intersto Intersolar Cat Show. It's a celebration of cat breeds found across the DORP system. On the surface, this is a bad assignment. But for a good reporter, this topic has all sorts of potential. How am I doing so far? Well, it's a little early, but uh, what would you like to know? How's my rep? Your reputation's good, I think. Uh, keep your reporting ethical and your demeanor humble and it'll stay good. Probably. Nice work, Boring. How are you liking my work? Uh, you have mostly written sensational content. Can't say I'm thrilled that the TNC is getting more TNG is getting more tabloidy. Curious about anything else? All right. Uh, how is readership? Readership's good. General. Oh, I missed that. Fluff, basically. Okay. So we'll. Uh, thanks. That's all I think. Of course. Time to head to the cat show. A cat show. <laughs> Yo, you're still here. I just had to see what you were giving him. It was worse than I'd even hoped. You'll have your fair share of cat, to cat shows too, yo. I know, I know, but not this cycle. Good luck, robot. You'll need it. Head to the shuttle bay when you're ready to go. Alright, let's have a quick look around what else we've got. Someone ate my pickled space herring. Here, we've got a little kitchen area. For everyone else, they're just pretty party favors, but Zeal, grab them, snap them, and bask in the nutritious glow. <laughs> right. Uh, could be an archive room, that. Vending machine. Vending machine has nothing to say to us. We have janitor bot here. It's grab.exe. The read responsitron has new messages. The first new message is titled, Wonderful work as always. To the Times and Galaxy editors and staff, I commend Martina Moonrock's incredible expose on Org's racketeering problem. That's a dangerous world to cover. Those criminals hold grudges and like getting even. But it gives me hope to see a reporter so fear fearlessly execute such journalistic daring do. Moonrock. Rocks, and I commend her. Jorgo, the commending one. Alright. I don't really want to go off into other rooms now, just because it seemed to crash the last time. It appears that past interns have written their names in a handful of messages on the wall here. Judging from some of the dates, it is a tradition almost as old as the Times and Galaxy. Names include Chalun, the Greatest One, Vivica Sunspot, and Arwen Vates. There's also a crude doodle of Editor-in-Chief Ursula Laser Cunningham. Would you like to add to the wall? Yeah. I'll doodle... I'll write my name. You write your name in perfectly boxy sans serif 14 point. Now everyone who looks at this wall will know that you sat next to the lavatory. An ant farm? A former intern must have left this behind a long time ago. The ants seem fine, bustling around and doing classic ant stuff like constructing a pyramid. 
Better leave it be. Can we, can we talk to this dude? He didn't like us. I guess not. Uh, kitty cat. Kind of. You see Ed's lens. Ah, it's submerged in this dog-shaped mound of goo. Oh, it's a dog. The goo's tail wags. It is a dog. Sentient oozy glop dog. The name tag on its collar reads Puff Piece. <laughs> uh, pet Puff Piece. Appreciative gurgle. <laughs> Puff sure seems to like pats. Uh, rub Puff's belly. Puff rolls onto their back. As you scratch their belly, the lens floats up to the surface. <laughs> you grab the piece. It's dripping with goo. Puff's tail wags gloppily. You've clearly made a friend. Okay, well, I'm not going to go into the toilet yet, but let's um, let's return the lens. That little side quest that we've got. You might well come and photograph the cat show, so it'll be good to make sure he's got the equipment that he needs. Da 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 da. Sprockets, you see a lens anywhere? Wait, wh what are you holding? My lens, I thought I lost it after we got back from Org. You give the thing you found in Puff Piece to Ed. Wait, why is it covered in goo? I found it inside Puff Piece. Oh, blech. All that dog's a roving gelatinous menace. It's going to take me hours to properly clean this. But at least it's safe. Thanks for getting it back, Sprockets. I owe you one big time. Alright, well, I think we'll leave it there for now. Um, I might come back and do a second episode, I'm not sure yet. Um, might see how this one's received. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a fun little game. I quite enjoyed going down to the planet and uh, sort of investigating a story and, and piecing it together. That was quite fun. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. As I said, it's centering uh, beta as of today. So you can uh, ask, request to be uh, invited to the beta, I think, if it interests you. Uh, by all means do so and um yeah if you're if you enjoy this video if you could hit the thumbs up button that'd be great and then if you're you know if you're watching this without having subscribed to the channel already it'd be amazing if you could so thanks very much and i hope to see you next time bye for now <laughs>